have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Three, two, one, zero. All right, today I'm hitting you guys with a micro build. We're gonna do something really small. Uh, what we're going to do are the miniaturization chips from a little-known film called Inner Space from the 1980s. The film's kind of gone and forgotten, but there actually is a dedicated following to this film, if you research it. Um, it's been a film that I watched a lot when I was a kid. It's one of my favorites from back in the day. And this build is going to involve a lot of found parts. There won't be a lot of hardcore fabrication. Um, they just used some basic off-the-shelf little electronic components to cobble these together, or at least that's what I believe they did when they made the movie. And over the years, uh, so I was so familiar with the movie, I would be in bargain bins at surplus stores and I'd find little components and I would say, oh, that's what they used when they made Inner Space. So I grabbed them up and now I think I have enough of the small parts or found some that were accurate enough to do a really honest replica of the chips. Um, I'll do my best throughout the voiceover and in the description to detail the parts that I'm using. Um, but they will be something if you want to build these yourself, you'll have to hunt for. Um, I'm sure some of you guys won't have a problem, but hey, let's get started. All right, so these are some stills of what the chips look like. And while these play, I will announce to you our guest today is Knox from Knox Real Cosplay. Did I say cosplay? I meant uh, cosplay. <laughs> Who does the best slave Leia I've ever seen? Link in the description. Knox, welcome. Thank you. And do you know about Innerspace? I, I do. That's the cufflink that... Uh, and that's the uh, miniaturization chip. That's from at the end at the wedding, isn't it? Yes. Spoiler alert. It's from 1987. <laughs> anyway, the main part of this is just a heat sink. That red heat sink I had in uh, a TO5 chip, which I couldn't find the right TO5 chips ever. So I use these sockets, and this is just a little aluminum tubing, and that's pretty much it. So, so is, uh, is that the, the flat bastard? Yeah, that's the flat bastard file we learned about in the, uh, in the uh, cane build. Yeah, I so saw any, that video. What they used when they made the movie is a TO5 chip, and they cut the top off. Now, the way they make TO5 chips now is that the, the way they make chips now is a lot more advanced. So even if you got one and cut it open, it wouldn't look like the one they had back in the 80s. So I have this TO5 socket. Now it's a 10 pin, um, 10 pin socket, just like the TO5 10 pin chip they used. And um, that's gonna give me what I want. Now because it's a socket, not a chip, it won't fit into the heat sink. So that's why I'm filing it. And I've got it filed and it fits right into the heat sink now. Now, did you paint those heat sinks or did they come like that? You know, I found some ones. They're anodized aluminum. I found some black ones a long time ago. But last time I was at a surplus store, I saw some red ones. I'm like, yep. So they're anodized red, which is accurate to the film, not not painted. You could paint them, but it's the anodizing is much nicer. This is just a, a little tool for, for cutting small tubing you can buy in the hobby store. And uh, that those little pieces of aluminum tubing I have are just scrap pieces. So I'm just cutting a little sliver of them off. And you'll see what it's for in a minute. Okay, so you're cutting it around the circumference, not cutting it down the length of it or anything like that. It's going to make a ring, right? Yeah, it'll make a ring. Okay. I should mention that Knox is um, in her third year of chemical engineering, so if she talks over your head, <laughs> I apologize. There's the ring. So that goes in. So it's coming together really fast. It already looks a lot like the, the thing. Um, these sockets are not, however, the right color, so I'm going to airbrush them. What are you rigging? Is this... Those are vice grips, you know. No, what. I know, but is this just a, uh, like a jury-rigged setup to get that propped up? It looked like a Q-tip? That's, that's offensive to juries. <laughs> um, no, it's, yeah, it's on the end of a Q-tip, which happens okay. to be just the right size. The Q-tip is in a, in a vice grip. And, and then that allows me to be able to paint. And I'm mixing up some lacquers here, so a little bit of lacquer thinner and a little bit of paint and a little bit of dirt and a little bit of butter. No, so that's what from- What are you painting? That's from Bob's Burgers. No, um, uh, it's the, the, the socket. Oh, okay. You like Bob's Burgers, don't you? I, I love Bob's Burgers. Me too. Gene 
I, I, I don't know if I like Gene or Bob more. My check from Fox should be coming in any time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just airbrushing. The other reason is because it's because it's a socket. Um, it's it where it's the female section. Let's put it that way. And the chip that we want is actually male section. I'm gonna simulate that by plugging the holes with. So and, we're going reverse Caitlyn Jenner. A oh, check your privilege. Anyway, um, so Sorry, yeah, well, I'm just gonna put uh, c copper um, copper wire in. Um, into the uh, I'm super gluing it so okay putting super glue on the back of that cup copper copper wire and then I'm going to stick it in and clip it off what is it they say on South Park Caitlyn Jenner is an inspiration and a uh, <laughs> hero or something like but that but if we're if we're going the other way then it, it, it should be call me Bruce shouldn't it I don't know anyway so there we go we're putting the copper copper in and clipping it off so what exactly does that do? Is it because it looked like the chip had pins in it already? No, they were holes where the there were. Oh. It's a, this is a socket for the pin. Okay. I'm making it look more like the pin now. Okay. Uh, I never did find TO5 chips that looked right for this prop, so that's why this is my best way of, of replicating. So now I have the the um, those pins in. I'm gonna sand them off smooth with the file, so that way they're all even I I don't actually think that's a bastard that's a, one of the finer ones I can't remember the name for the next a bastard file is one that's really coarse so that one's actually not a flat bastard I don't believe hmm. um, I know one was dead smooth but that's yeah. dead smooth is like a real smooth that's a little bit of clear coat I sprayed on there so that I could attach this this is a hair curler clip if I'm not mistaken that I sat, duck bill pinning clip. I, yeah, duck bill pinning clip. That's what it's called. It's for hair. <laughs> However, this particular hair clip is 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 lucky because it gets to be immortalized as part of a prop. It does a far better job at that than it does actually pinning hair. Um, so basically, the way the T O five chips used to be, they would have a little uh, metallic square in the middle of where the pins are. So I just needed a little square of metal, and those were already the right width, but they're really long. So I just cut a little portion of them off, and you can see it right there on my finger, a little square of metal, and I'll glue that on. For the record, those clips do tend to be pretty cheap if you are if you don't get some really big name brand of them. You get a box of Just go steal one from your sister's room. <laughs> She's we don't them. endure that. They're, we don't endorse that. They're in there. <laughs> Your sister has them. Go look. No, most likely mother. If you're them. if you're an adult, then call your sister and go to the house. <laughs> anyway, now that that little square is glued on, I'm pressing it into the heat sink, and this has come together. I'm super excited because Inner Space has been one of my favorite movies since I was a little kid. Do you plan on making cufflinks out of these? You know what? I need to find some. It's hard to find just blank cufflinks, but I could. I have it. Uh, I actually made about six of these. So. In the movie, there's only two. Mm. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this. It's a Tamiya transparent color. It's called Smoke. And sometimes it's you just put it over everything, and it's kind of just evens everything out. So I'm putting a little bit of that in there. Put it in with the pipette. And if you have anything left to say, I'm just going to remind you, this was Knox from Knox Riddle Cosplay, who, came, who joined me on this, so that way I wasn't talking to myself, because I feel weird if I do that. <laughs> just talking to the microphone. Yep, but it's about to go back to old me now for the wrap-up, and we'll hear what I have to say. All right, that's the micro build of the Inner Space Miniaturization Chip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Took about an hour and all, and didn't run into any major issues. Pretty easy build, so thanks. Thank you.